Welcome to the quick start guide to using the SFFED Data Explorer. Today, we'll be creating a chart on the unemployment rate. Unemployment is an important way to gauge the health of the U.S. economy. Rather than looking at the number of people who are unemployed each month, it's often more useful to use the unemployment rate. This is because unemployment rates make it possible to compare the labor market experience of different groups of people whose population sizes can differ substantially. To calculate this, we start with the total number of people who meet the Bureau of Labor Statistics definition of unemployment. That is, the number of people who are out of a job and actively looking for work. Then, we divide that by the number of people in the labor force, which is just the number of people who are either employed or unemployed. This way, we are looking at unemployment as a percent of the total number of people who are engaging with the labor market. To look at the unemployment rate in the SFFED Data Explorer, go to the Labor Market Status tab and select the Labor Statistic drop-down menu. Choose the option that says Unemployment Rate. Now, we are looking at the unemployment rate from 1976 to the present, with a breakdown by age group. Next, let's learn how to look at unemployment rates for different demographic groups. Start by moving down the page to select the view mode by demographic groups. Under demographic options, we can see all the different breakdowns available. If we select education, we can look at the unemployment rate for people with different levels of education. Let's say you instead want to focus in on one group at a time. By clicking on groups in the legend below the chart, you can remove those lines from the plot. If you want to bring those lines back, just click on their legend entry again. For now, Let's get rid of all the lines except for the bachelor's degree or more group. If you see data you're interested in, you can hover your mouse over any data points in the chart to see the exact number. It's also easy to zoom in for a closer look at the chart. Just click and drag within the chart area to zoom in on the area you have selected. If you want to zoom back out to the entire chart, just click on the house icon in the top right corner of the chart area. This will reset your chart's X and Y axes. You can also use the slider at the bottom of the chart to quickly scrub through the time series and zoom in on a specific time period. For example, you can move the left slider and the right one to focus on the unemployment rate from the beginning of 2000 until right before the pandemic. Now that you've created a chart with the Data Explorer, it's time to share it. To save your work, move your mouse up to the toolbar in the top right corner of the chart area and click on the camera icon. This will download a PNG image file of the chart you've created. You can send this to a friend or paste it into a paper or presentation. We've also provided a suggested citation at the bottom of this page so you can easily cite your source. This was a quick way to start using the SFFED Data Explorer. If you'd like to dig deeper, stick around and watch our video that teaches you how to build your own chart.